this organization, this conspiracy, took extensive efforts to try to mask what they were doing and to make the transactions that they duped these victims into engaging in. Uh, right now at six, a fraud scheme involving nearly $16 million was uncovered in Youngstown. 20 people were indicted for their roles in this major fraud scheme that also laundered money. They are accused of working as conspirators in an international fraud organization which stretched to Canada, Africa, and even other parts of the United States. It's our top story at 6. The roundup started at 7 a.m. 12 people were arrested in Youngstown, two in Atlanta, and one in Pittsburgh. Investigators say the group used seven different methods to defraud their victims. They also preyed upon and victimized people on social network and online dating websites faking romantic relationships and having their unwitting victims wire them money. The indictment alleges they also defrauded law firms, debt collection attorneys, title companies and other people who believe the business was all legal by often saying the transactions needed to be done immediately. The money was then shifted among accounts with 15 different banks across the nation. As the, the indictment alleges as well that uh, these individuals were enriching themselves with some of the fraud proceeds that were obtained in these bank accounts. The FBI also believes a large chunk of the funds were sent overseas to bank accounts in Canada, China and other parts of Asia. The FBI says the group was led by Zachary Howe, who recruited people to help, but that he was also taking direction from higher ups. Howe was found murdered in February. The FBI doesn't believe his death is related to the fraud ring. Ten people have already pleaded guilty to their roles in the conspiracy. We may not be able to recapture their money. We at least put a dent in the organization and prevent some further fraud. The FBI believes the 20 people who have been indicted were responsible for laundering $16 million through their sophisticated computer hacking and other fraud. Now, this is kind of that dark side of that process to where that money goes how that money transitions from the victims and out of the country and just perpetuates the cycles. Now three suspects are still at large. They are Terrence Howard, Jamal Perry and Julius Williams. If you know where they are, call the FBI tip line. That's 330-333-1847. Again, that's 3331-TIP. You can leave a tip anonymously or qualify for a reward if they're caught.